the rhino is on its way to extinction. And if we can stop that path for the next generation to, for the rhino to be here, I think that would be, um, that would be everything. The day started, we were gonna do a dehorning with the rhino, which is where a veterinarian darts the rhino from a helicopter to sedate the rhino. I started filming and being in this moment, as soon as I crossed the air barrier, the air sucked my entire phone out of my hand. I just knew that I'm never gonna see that phone again. The pilot was so fast. The whole helicopter veered to the left and came around. He found a flat surface for us to land. And all three of us just start running into the bush as fast as we could. There's lions, there are hyenas. I hear literally what sounded like a voice from heaven go, I found it. And I go, no way. The phone survived without a scratch from that fall 150 feet up in the sky. To be able to say that this case saved my life is an understatement. It's such a crisis in South Africa with the poaching. The highest commodity in the world is the rhino horn. And about three rhinos get poached each day for their horn. Many years ago, when I wanted to get involved and make a difference, I was so touched with the bond between the mom and the baby calf. Some of the babies are so brave, they would try and attack the poachers. Even after the mom has passed in the field, the baby will never desert the mom. It just struck me to where I wanted to do something. I knew that there were three teams on the ground that do phenomenal work. I know 911. Uh, Care for Wild and uh, ZCT, which is Zululand Conservation Trust, as well as the Zululand Orphanage. It's the work that these teams do on the ground every day that we don't see, we don't hear about, that Rove wants to bring to light. Someone once said, the only man that I envy in life is the man who has not yet been to Africa because he has so much to look forward to. That's what I work so hard for, is for that Africa to always be there.